What's going on guys, it's Eric here from Dose of ET, bringing you guys a different kind of video today. Today we're going to fix my Samsung Galaxy Note 5. I cracked the back of the screen, so it's pretty much shattered. It, it's pretty bad. So basically, I bought this case. It's, it feels like glass, it feels like the regular, it feels like this one a little bit. I mean, there is still a cover on here, but I'll have to let you know when I take it off. But bought this off of Amazon, I think for like around 14 bucks something like that so it's not too cheap but it's not expensive either unless you want something else but it does have Verizon 4G LTE then obviously the Note 5 the only thing it doesn't have from the original one is where to like don't dispose of like this phone or whatever and stuff like that like made in whatever where it was made and stuff like that whatever's down here that's really hard to see like this stuff that's down in here but so the tools that you'll probably need to take this apart I mean you won't really need to if it's already cracked you might as well just pry it off but basically you have your just a prying tool right here it just has a little lip right there so you can uh, peel off the back of the phone and you got two different screwdrivers here the one is a I believe like a diamond or not a diamond but like a star type tip or something like that I believe the other one's just your straight up just regular screwdriver that you'd use for everyday usage. Then you got your suction cup so you can pull up the screen if you need to. Then you got your basically a guitar pick, but it's not really like made for a guitar. I mean, you probably could use it for one, but whatever. It doesn't really matter, but this will help you pry up the fan. So basically, with taking these apart, there is adhesive all the way around the outside of this fan to hold the back down. So basically, all you want to do is just take one of your tools here and just stick this underneath here. See, mine comes up pretty easily because I have taken the back off before to replace the battery. So the adhesive on the back of this phone isn't really that strong anymore. But if you really, really, really are having trouble getting this off the phone, then you're definitely going to want to use a, a heat gun. A hair dryer would work too. Anything that applies heat, it's just a hair dryer will take a lot longer if you don't have a heat gun. I'm pretty sure you could probably get a heat gun at uh, any of your hardware store, stuff like that. But if you know someone that has it, then it's even better because I don't think it's... Oh crap, we're pulling up a lot here. Alright. Alright, so this is what the inside of the phone looks like right here. So that's the back. Just a hard panel, then glass, obviously. So, this is what the phone looks like on the inside right here. Get all that stuff out of the way. But, um, let's see here. There is a little bit of sticky residue around. But if you were going to like replace the battery or something, the battery is right here. So all you have to do is undo all these screws that are around the phone then you have to do a couple more screws to access the battery and stuff like that and then you'll be able to get to it but other than that that's how you get to the battery if you're changing the camera you still have to do the same thing you still have to take all this off and you get to the camera and stuff like that but I'm gonna pause this video for a second because I want to do something else and I want to show you guys that because it's gonna take a long process but I'll show you what I was gonna do so like the first time I sent this phone into Samsung because it was under warranty and just off track a little bit, once I took this back off, it's not under warranty anymore. So just to let you know, if you're going to do this yourself, don't think it's going to be under warranty because they will know if you have taken the back off or not off the phone. But it's easy to tell. So if you're going to do that, definitely don't be sending it to them because they will not fix it. They'll just send it right back to you. But the first time I sent it to Samsung, these little dots down here I think it's adhesive from like the glass to the actual like frame of the body of the phone leaked through right there then when I took the phone apart myself I got adhesive up here so basically what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn off the camera and see if I can fix this and get rid of this but if I can't I can't but if I, I can I'm gonna try my best to get rid of it and I'll let you guys know if it worked or not and, or if I made it worse one or the other but I'm gonna pause I'm gonna pause this then I'll get right back to where it was just like this then 
I'll show you guys how to install the back. But I'll be right back. What's going on guys? I'm back. I tried to fix the issue. Didn't really work. I think it made it a little bit worse. But it has to do with like the actual screen. And like I guess there's like an air bubble or whatever. But all you have to do is replace the screen and all that stuff would go away. But I don't have that. So I just have the back. So basically all you need to do is just peel off these tabs right here. First one, and then you gotta peel off this one. All right, now you're down. Let's peel off this back one real quick. All right, now you're down to basically the hit the adhesive, the adhesive, whatever you pronounce this as, adhesive on the phone. So basically. This is the sticky part. I'm putting my finger on it right now. It's pretty sticky. So basically, all you have to do is just line it up with the phone. Make sure everything is in correctly. And just push down until it sticks. Make sure you hit like every corner and stuff like that to make sure it's pushed down nice and soft. Don't push down too hard because obviously you'll probably break this one too, but... Just make sure you push down nice and hard. There you go. It should it should be sticking like brand new basically. But there you go guys. That's how you replace the back. The front is basically the same thing. Like the entire frame right here, the outside of the frame is all connected. Basically the only thing that's connected up against the the screen is just the LED L or whatever OLED, the OLED screen basically. So all you have to do is just peel the screen off. There's adhesive just like the back. You just peel that off and you'll be able to replace the front. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.